Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Uh, we previously talked about React Select package. In another episode, you can uh, check it out from the top link. And for today's episode, I want to uh, talk about how we can connect uh, React Select dropdown uh, to the API to get data from server and show us with the autocomplete feature. Okay, here as you can see, I can type a name, it will find all the names with this query and if I click on it, it will load the avatar of that user for me. And also here, it's a, a official website for React Select, you can find all the information from this website, it's our API, it can be hosted anywhere, I just uh, using JSON server to make a fake server functionality for today's episode and it's a project source code that you can use this link I will add it into the description part uh, to uh, find more information about the project by the way if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe now using below button to get more related tutorials let's start here uh, I have a clear project, I just have a component inside uh, my app.js file and here you can see I have a render function which renders uh, actually selected user's state and it has a map to render every item which is located inside this array and if the user has avatars it will render it to our page and if and here I have a, another function on change that we're gonna use it it will accept selected users uh, from the react select input and then just set it to the state if it has value but uh, if it didn't have value it just set empty array to the selected users and it's our empty project we want to add the select and to see how we can set up and run it first step is adding react select input to the our component I need to import it first import uh, async select from react select async and then I'm gonna use it inside render method and then uh, let's go for its props because uh, my component is a um, uh, multiple has multiple options for users to select I need to set is multi and then I also need to set value and it should read from it so state selected users and then I need to have unchange and again pass unchange method tweet and then I need for example if I want to have a placeholder to show me Whenever my component is empty, I can just pass a text, for example, type something. To connect my async select component to my API, I need to add another uh, props named load options, and I'm gonna create a new function for it load options and let's make it here load options this function will accept two parameters the first one is input text and the text that user has uh, typed inside the component and also a callback
definitely it should be asynchronous because we're gonna call fetch API to get the results. Uh, within this function, I need to get input text, send it to the server, get the filtered data from the server, and also make it ready and pass it to the callback function. And when I pass it to the callback function, uh, the component will see the items uh, which are received from the server and shows them to the user to select one of them. Uh, so I need to make a get request response and using fetch that you probably uh, are familiar with this function and I'm gonna add my web service URL here and then I need to identify sorry uh, let's close it to have more space first name like uh, it must be something uh, input text and uh, it will send it as a parameter to my server and oh sorry I have a spelling problem response and JSON again from await response JSON it will uh, get uh, JSON object from the body of the response object and finally I want to use callback function to pass the data but I need to prepare it in a way that this component should read it so I'm gonna use map function to change the structure a little bit it should be an object with label which will show to the user and I first name and the value also is required I'm gonna use ID yes and also uh, I need to add avatar in order to be able to uh, use it here so I dot avatar and these fields are coming from here ID avatar and first name we could use another uh, <coughs> keys as well okay uh, let's see how things are going I have my input if I enter something yeah you can see that it will find items for me and add them to the box but I also need an animation for removing these things to be smoother and better and the theme is not good yet because colors are not chose in a nice way so let's fix it to add animation I just need to import uh, make animated from react select animated and I need to create a component by using this make animated uh, function so animated component it's gonna be make animated function and I just need to add it as a component prop okay let's see do we have animation right now or not 
I forgot uh, to add D here. And if I remove them, you can see we have an animation, it's great. And finally, we need to just fix the styles uh, of this component. Uh, if you go to the uh, React Select website using styles section, you can see that there are lots of ways to customize this component, but I think the easiest way for now is using overriding the theme option. And you can see that it has a theme uh, props and we can use it. Uh, you can change the colors uh, by default. These are the colors. You can see which one you want to change and then use the name and set the near color to be replaced with, for example, this blue color. So I want to have zero border radius and primary 25 is going to be green for me and primary is going to be black. This one should be C8, 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 and finally this one should be white. These are the styles that I prepared before the video uh, to make things faster. Let's see. Yes, uh, you see that uh, how easy it was uh, connecting our component, our select component to the server and with this component, uh, we can have uh, an easy way to implement auto complete feature inside our React.js applications. For more information, I suggest you watching these videos.